we have a very nice exponential equation. So how do we find the value of s solution? So we have 4 raised to the power x plus 2 raised to the power x equals 2. This implies that we can write 4 as 2 square. Don't forget the power. We have x plus 2 raised to the power x equals 2. Which also implies that let this s comes into the bracket and 2 comes out. So we have 2 raised to the power x times 2. We just entertain this guy. Plus 2 raised to the power x equals 2. So now let's suppose p equals 2 raised to the power x. So anywhere you find 2 raised to the power x, we just replace it by p. So we have p squared plus p equals 2. Which also implies that we have p squared plus p. When this guy comes to the left side, it becomes negative. So we have minus 2 equals 0. So now let's factorize this problem. We have p square plus 2p minus p minus 2 equals 0 because 2p minus p gives back p. So we have p. This the common terms here is p. So we have p times p plus 2 because p times p gives p square. p times 2 gives 2p. Now negative 1 is common here. We have minus 1 into p plus 2 equals 0 because minus 1 times p gives minus p and minus 1 times 2 gives minus 2 so we are good to go so p plus 2 is common so we pull that out and p minus 1 equals 0 so therefore which also implies that p equals minus 2 or p equals positive 1 so since p is negative here we are going to ignore this so we are going to consider p equals to 1 when p equals to 1. Don't forget our representation for p, which is 2 raised to the power x. So we have p equals 2 raised to the power x. What is p? That's 1. 1 equals 2 raised to the power x. Another way to re-express 1 is simply 2 raised to the power 0. Because 2 raised to the power 0 gives 1 equals 2 raised to the power x. Since the base is the same here, it happens that x equals 0. So that is the solution to this problem. Now let's check if what we have done is right. We know our value for x is equal to 0. So let's plug it here. So we have, let's just check. When x is equal to 0, we have 4 raised to the power x, 4 raised to the power 0 rather, plus 2 raised to the power 0 equals, what is 4 raised to the power 0? That is 1. What is 2 raised to the power 0? That is also 1. So 1 plus 1 gives 2. You can observe that. You observe that 2. It's the same thing as what we have on the right side here. So that indicates that the value for x is simply 0 for this exponential problem. That's it. Thanks for watching.